everybody and welcome to a new episode of Diagnose Dan. Today we're working on a 2013 Volkswagen Golf and of this Golf the traffic sign recognition system is not working. I'm working on this car with my friend Iwan who has got all the tools for Volkswagen so let's diagnose this together. together. Now let's start out by confirming the customer complaint. Traffic sign recognition is part of the ADAS, or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. These systems are basically the first steps towards autonomous driving. Customer complaint confirmed. Now let's start out by reading the fault codes. So. So we scanned the car for codes and we have a coding problem in the front camera. But the big question is, why would that coding change? Now somehow the coding of that camera changed. Now E1 has got the original factory Otis tool, so let's use that to recode our camera and let's hope it fixes our problem. We used Otis to recode that camera. Now let's use VCDS again and see if our fault code disappeared. Fault code is still present. We coded the camera using Otis. We coded it the way it left the factory. But still, we've got a coding fault. So something has changed since the car has left the factory. And I think I found our suspect. Now let's check the as built information online and see if E1 is right. If we want to diagnose this car, we've got to have a proper understanding about coding. Now let me try to explain it to you by using an example. On this board, I've got a simplified airbag system. Now let's imagine on this brand, the estate model has got six airbags. One, two, three, four, five, six. But the saloon model has only got four airbags. Car manufacturers don't want to design a different module for each and every model or option they have got. For example, when we put this unit from an estate into a saloon, we will get fault codes on the two circuits we are not using. That's why they give us the option to code these units or change the settings. When we change the setting, 
from a state to saloon, this module knows what to expect and the same module can be used for different models and options. Coding is also done on networks. So when you add a new module onto the network, like this tow bar module, make sure you code that tow bar module into the network. So the other modules know there's a new module that might communicate on that CAN bus. Now this car didn't leave the factory with a tow bar, as you could see in the online as built information. Somebody fitted an aftermarket tow bar and coded it into the car, but somehow he forgot to code it into the camera. You might wonder why does the tow bar needs to be coded into the camera of the traffic sign recognition system? Well, the answer is quite simple. In most countries, the maximum speed is different when you're towing a trailer. So when a trailer module is installed and you coded this into the system, the camera can now ask the trailer module by CAN bus, is there a trailer behind this car right now? If the answer is yes, it will show you a reduced maximum speed. In the next step, we're going to use VCDS to change that tow bar coding inside the camera from not installed to installed. We successfully coded the tow bar into the camera. Now let's do a test drive and see if the system is working again. Now, as you could see, our traffic sign recognition system works again. Now, coding can be difficult. You must know which modules to code and how to code them. And you might not have the right tools to do it for each brand. But there is help, and the help is called JiveLine.
The traffic sign recognition system uses a camera that is mounted directly behind the windshield. This camera can detect other objects like traffic signs, oncoming traffic, or lane markings for lane detection, although this car is not equipped with that option. Now every time you work on a car with these options and you do something that might change the angle of the camera towards the road, like a wheel alignment, replacement of the windshield, or replacement of the camera, the system needs to be recalibrated. Now before we calibrated the system, we did a wheel alignment to make sure the position of the car and the tracking on the road is exactly the way it is supposed to be. Now we're not going to bother you with the entire alignment procedure because that is not what this video is about. In some circumstances the camera needs to be recalibrated like when you change the windshield, change the camera or change the wheel alignment. We didn't do any of that, but since we're here and E1 has got all the tools, we'd like to show you the procedure. Now what E1 did is adjust the target to the right specifications for this vehicle. In the next step, we can use the targets to calibrate the system. In the next step, we can calibrate the camera. The camera is going to focus on this target. There are different signs on the target that can be used for calibration. The line over here and the line over here represent the markings on the side of the road. A traffic sign recognition system not working because of a wrongfully coded tow bar. Interesting, right? And we fixed this car using a laptop. No parts needed. Now if you like this video and if you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel. And when you hit the little bell, you will get a notification each time I post a new video. Diagnosed then, and E1, fixed it again. See you next time guys.